The grim aftermath of the bombing lay scattered around the centre of Lisburn this morning. The IRA bomb flung wreckage over a wide area. The task now, a meticulous sifting through the debris of twisted metal. Any piece of information gathered in the search will be a help to the police in their hunt for the killers. The police have set up an incident room at Lisburn RUC station to coordinate their investigation. Local detectives are being helped by other CID officers brought into the town. There are two telephone numbers for people who can help the police. They're Lisburn 3316 and 3319. Detectives have now established that the van used by the soldiers had been parked at the local leisure centre during the fun run. It had travelled about half a mile when the bomb went off. The police are particularly anxious to hear from people who saw anything suspicious in the area around the leisure centre, where the IRA gang obviously attached the bomb. One theory being investigated by the detectives is that the van had been used by soldiers on previous sporting occasions and had been identified by the terrorists. Last night's explosion brought death and destruction. A bystander had also seen the recent IRA bomb at the agricultural show in Belfast. The bad world one. I was 50 yards less from the, uh, where the actual bomb went off. I said goodbye to my partner, David McMullen there, and two of us headed for home. At, I would say the same time at 9 o'clock, and last night was something similar. I said goodbye to my boss, and just as the bomb went off, both times there was parents, children about, indeed. Uh, it's a miracle and a God blessing that there wasn't far more killed both times. You personally have had a lucky escape now in two occasions. In both occasions, now I should, I'm very glad to be able to speak to you today. This morning, the people of Lisburn began to pay their respects to the soldiers who died. Local shop assistants were the first to lay flowers close to the scene of the carnage. They were followed by many more. I'm just facing in sympathy of the soldiers. They're in this country trying to protect us, and this is what they're getting. We just hope that their families understand that... It's not everybody here that's like that. It wasn't sympathy for the soldiers, for what had happened. It was a terrible thing. We feel sorry for what has happened and we thought we'd do something about it. What is the feeling in Lisburn this morning? Angry. Angry and bitter for what has happened. Very bitter. Communities uh, shock, but nevertheless, uh, they're, now they've got, seem to get over the shock, uh, they're trying to do their best to help. I have had calls to the council office this morning wanting to know how they can help. Is there a feeling of numbness in Lisburn? Oh, absolutely. We, uh, it's not only the horrific event, but it's what could have been. We could have lost many of our citizens last night in this no-warning bomb. The new moderator of the Presbyterian Church, Dr Godfrey Brown, visited the scene with two local Presbyterian ministers, Dr Hard Crummy, himself a former moderator, and the Reverend Jack Richardson, a Presbyterian chaplain to Lagan Valley Hospital, where the injured were taken. One feels so deeply for the families of those who have been so tragically bereaved, and also for the people who have been shocked and injured, and it's simply the mercy of God that more people are not in that position today. Um, we're so grateful to know that really the injuries have been minimal compared with the people who actually, apart from the people who actually die. Uh, I, I am, uh, I think, rather sickened, as everyone is, that a, a sporting event like this that should have united the community and was obviously a joyful occasion on a beautiful evening should have been marred in such a vicious way uh, by the taking of human life. The sentiments were echoed by the Church of Ireland Bishop of Connor at today's Diocesan Synod. There's nothing to be got by this barbarous uh, atrocity. At the end of a happy evening when young people have been out uh, uh, enjoying themselves but also trying to do some good. We have nothing left, only six people left dead. I understand uh, three of these men were married, one with two children, another one recently married. These men were out trying to do some good in community and for the total good of the community and it ends up in this holocaust. Last night's bomb has added the name of Lisburn to the list of atrocities seen in the province in the last 20 years. Today members of the next generation were among those who went to the scene. There as well were four soldiers who had also taken part in the fun run but had been travelling in another vehicle. For them there was a quiet and sombre return.